Hey, what's up guys? This is the Asian Video Gamer. Back to you with the next part of this um, Black Mage playthrough. Small Mage, Big World. Today, I'm gonna have some couple of things to talk about. And since it's the first time coming back from like two weeks, this is gonna be a long episode. So stay to um, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So first of all, let's talk about Dark Souls. So recently, the new DLC came out. The Iron King, I think. The... What do you call it? The, Earth, uh, the Iron Crown, I think. DLC. So I will go back and play it some of that soon but I think most of the people already beat it because it's almost been a week uh, my thoughts on the DLC is that they come out a little too fast because right now there's <laughs> there's hardly any time for me to keep playing these games but that's just for me I, I guess people are waiting for it I don't know I mean the last DLC was Kind of, I guess. Kind of big too. It wasn't that big, but it was big enough for for five bucks, ten bucks DLC or something. I think this new DLC will probably be the same. And I will be playing it in this playthrough. Sorry guys, I'm just being a little sick, so I'm editing out my coughing and sneezing and all that stuff. So there's awkward pauses. So back to this playthrough though. Right here, I'm in the Belf Belfry Luna. Possibly the next area to be... Is it? I don't know. To be in the DLC. Or related to the DLC. Is it the Lost Sinner or... It should be the Lost Sinner, right? The last one? Who knows? Anyways. I am... The, the agenda in this playthrough will be... To get through... Belfry Goggles. And... Go through the Dragon Rider. So why am I going through this place? Well... I have no idea, actually. Keep in mind, this is all new, new game plus. So, the enemies do hit a little bit harder. And, you know, these guys are actually quite annoying. I would say these small guys are more annoying than Gargoyle himself. So, look at that. Uh, I don't think I can kill him now. This guy, yeah. Forget it. Forget it. Just go up and ring the damn bell. This place is actually the PvP area, if you don't know. A lot of people invade here by uh, the Belfry Covenant. And it's actually a pain in the neck. If you stay here for too long, people will start coming after you like crazy. It's the same thing in uh, Belfry Soul. Soul. Apparently, in terms of lore, there's some sort of um, princess on this side and some sort of prince on the other side that you know, they, they have a love for each other or bullshit. Some, 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 type, some type of fucking bullshit. Like that. Like, it's not really interesting to me, anyway. But, you know, it's Dark Soul lore, right? And <clears throat> I think this, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really familiar with the soul, uh, the, the lore with, it, with uh, Dark Souls 2, so I'm, I'm not going to say much about it. This place, like I said in the last previous videos, this place reminds me of the uh, Undead Berg with the bell here. And...
as soon as I ring the bell, I think the gate lifts. Yeah, it's lifting now. So I'm gonna kill this thing. Kill this lost guardian. Or Belfry Bowman. I don't know what they're called. No idea. And then I'll go down and take care of the gargoyles. The reason why I said this place is like Undead Burg. First of all, there's Belfry Gargoyles. So, yeah. That's one main reason. The other reason is that this, the, the, uh, the walls on this place, they remind me of Undead Burg. The Undead Citizens. Completely missed that forbidden sun and wasted it. Good job. These guys are really not that hard. As long as you be careful and don't be too bad. That actually dealt no damage. So now I need to run away and heal myself. So I'm gonna take a chance to talk about my life. Why I've been MIA for a couple weeks now. Um, the reason is, well, I've gotten my house, and right now I've been busy renovating it and getting it fixed. Well, some of the stuff getting it fixed. Because <coughs> you need to fix your house when you first get it. It's a new development. Even for resale, I think like people like to, you know, like renovate stuff and make it better. And I've been busy doing that and getting pot lights in the house and getting, you know, a new TV wall, new backslash for my kitchen, painting the wall. You know, it's all been pretty busy. But it will be better soon. Like I would, I would think like uh, I'm almost done. And so, and yesterday I just went out and bought like a new TV, a 60-inch TV, and that was kind of pricey. It was pricey, but I have to say it's still pretty good. It's still a pretty good deal for. The amount of stuff, like for, for the TV, the TV mount, and I don't know, uh, they, they said they should, like we should get the warranty on it, like a five year warranty on the TV. I guess it's alright, it's just buying for it. The guy said you can get your money back after four years or something, so it's cool. So yeah, that's what's been keeping me busy. Well, also the wet. So I haven't been able to uh, play a lot of games or do a lot of videos. I do have a couple stuff that I recorded, so I won't be posting them. It's not going to be Dark Souls, it's going to be like, I don't know, random things like League of Legends, Street Fighter. Well, you know, like games that I used to play haven't played for a while so I don't expect a lot of you guys to be interested in those things because I think most of my audience are just interested in Dark Souls I might go back to Demon Souls if I can figure out how to device capture it but the next big project that I'm gonna be working on big project that's a big project but, you know <laughs> Uh, next video stuff that I'm going to be working on is like going to be Dynasty Warriors and the lore from that. I'm not good at Dark Souls lore because, you know, there's a lot of speculations and stuff like that. But I'm very good at Dynasty Warrior lore because I watch the movies, I watch the shows, I read the book, I play the games my thing so I'm gonna be doing some of those videos and hopefully people will be interested in that and spread the word 
I know there's not very there's not a lot of popularity in those in those games. No nobody really cares about those games because they're rehashed every year and it's like the same game over and over again. There I think I wasted one of my Twilight herb. I could have just ran to the bonfire and come back. Oh well, doesn't matter. So here, we've taken care of the Belfries uh, gargoyles. They come at you like one at a time. But as long as you keep your distance from the mage, they're not that hard. This part, you gotta... I would almost say like you gotta cheese these guys out. Because there's like seven dogs or six dogs down there. And when you get down there, someone will invade invade you so that's that's kind of annoying like as soon as you go like the design of dark souls 2 i hate is that you 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 can't like it's almost like unfair like you can almost say that most situations you're gonna be in are more like you're gonna be dealing with more than one enemy at a time. Like look at this, I'm coming down the ladder, there's three dogs. Like they forcing you to cheat. Like to come up here and start, you know. Soul arrowing everything that's in, in there. Kinda stupid. There I kill three dogs. So there's like three more still coming at me. Like, how are you going to go down there without a big weapon and hope to win? You can't. You will die. This is a new game plus. So, uh, some of the designs I really don't like. I wish they fixed that. So now I'm just going to come and lure this dog down here. Hopefully I can target him. No. 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 Cannot. Nope. Come on. Yeah, there you go. No. No. Damn it. Okay, he came back. Good job. Good dog. Okay, so that's all of them. Not not all of them. There's still one on top, but that doesn't matter. And the fact that this is such a narrow gap. Okay, so here's the spirit that comes at you. He's actually not that hard. It's just that I don't want to fight him there. And this is a mage build, so I'm going to be like doing the cheapest things ever. I don't give a shit. Oh, I missed my soul arrow. I mean, soul spear. Yeah. Uh, I thought he was going to climb up, so I paused for a second, but he doesn't climb. So you can cheese him out like this. There you go. I was like, nah, I'm not going to just kill you. Ah, oh, shit, I missed again. There you go. One soul spear in the face, you're done. This is like reminiscent of the uh, lore on that bird, right? Dogs, and then some guy coming at you with a spear. Or, you know. It's actually very similar to the bird now that I think about it. Hmm. Is that on purpose? Maybe. So that's pretty much it for this area, the Lost Bastille. We'll be coming back once I get through No No Man's Wharf. I think right here I'm just gonna kill those dogs. Like like to see if those dogs respawn. And yeah, they do. They're right there. Oh, that's some kind of dangerous. Oh, one hit kill. Oh, that was sweet. Sweet. So, on to the next area. Which is the Tower of Hide. Or something. So, I like to uh, talk about something else now. Let's move on to the next topic that I have in store. 
And that's talking about the current gen systems and why I didn't get them yet. So, with the launch of PS4, Xbox One being last year and Wii U the two years prior, or one year prior to the last year, um, they haven't interested me all that much in the last year. And the main reason is there's not that much games that I want to play. That I want to play a Dark Souls type game, an RPG, you know, some, some sort of game like that. And they just haven't had a game like that on those systems. There will be one coming, Bloodborne, on PS4. And I think that's a brilliant move on their part, on Sony's part, of, on getting that. Because that game is a system seller. There's huge potential in that game because Dark Souls now is a main mainstream thing, a game known to be hard and known to be, you know, rewarding at the same time. But it's not like the Demon Soul type game where like it just alienates a whole bunch of people. Dark Souls 2 really mainstreamed it. Like a lot of combat mechanics, a lot of um, the way the level designs are. It's linear, so people don't get lost. Because, you know, it's just not dark. It's no longer exploration. Like, this hall is linear as fuck. There's nothing going on here. Nothing. And this entire place is pretty linear. There's two places you can go, but it's super linear. Like, there's there's no point. There's only one way to get to there, and that's it. And there's no way back. In Dark Souls, there's a little bit more. In Demon Souls, the atmosphere was really good in that game. Like, I wouldn't say there's, you know... I wouldn't say there's good level design in Dark Soul, uh, Demon Souls, because I think that game was pretty linear too. Actually, no, I take that back. There's always mul multiple ways to get to somewhere. There's always in every in every level. I think this game is just one way to get there, and that's it. And it's surprising, I, I, I watched some of the videos online about the DLC and people hate how the DLC is so hard and so, so weird and people just gave up. I think the DLC was really well done, I love it. It's like the old Dark Souls, you know, like exploration is rewarded and people will just run through are getting punished. I think the design was actually really, really good. But I think most of the uh, criticism for the DLC came from the fact that the, the, the three bosses, the three grave robber and all those assholes, I think that boss fight was probably the worst boss fight in that game. It's stupid. Didn't need to be there. Um, yeah. What, what was I talking about? Current gen. Yeah, that's right. Current gen. Um, so, with that said, Blood Bloodborne being the only game that is interesting to me in the current gen systems, it's gonna prompt me to buy. PS4. The next game that was interesting to me for a while was, I think, was Dead Rising. I think that's what it's called. But unfortunately, that's not really a true exclusive. It's only a timed exclusive. I think you can buy it on Steam soon, I believe. And that's a stupid move by Microsoft because. If you made it a true exclusive, I might have bought the Xbox One. Because now I have more buying power as an adult. I don't have to, you know, 
worry about money problems and shit like that. I would be able to afford it, no problem. But since you made it for a PC, why the hell would I got buy an Xbox One? There's no reason. There's absolutely no reason to buy an Xbox One. And the other current gen system, the Wii U, um, well, it's interesting, but unfortunately, it suffers from the same thing as the others. There's no games that I want to play. Sure, there's like Mario, Go Kart, Mario Kart, sorry, and Zelda is coming out. But really, <coughs> all right, let's sneeze. But really, it's not the games that it's gonna cause me to buy the system. Like those are more like party games, and I don't like playing party games. I like hardcore games, like you know, Dark Souls. There are good games out there for the Wii U. Don't get me wrong, there are good games. But that being said, it's too far and too few in between. And the fact that there's lack of third party support, it's probably gonna kill Nintendo as a whole. The funny thing is, Nintendo actually tried to do something innovative. They try to make a game gaming system that's different from your standard, you know, controller pad and and really focused on a new experience for the um, gamer. But unfortunately, we just don't really give a shit about those things. And that's that's a shame. Because and and here I want to discuss like why why that's the problem the problem is gamers do not want innovation they want games that are sorry for that sniffing they want games that are you know the same as previous revisions with only minor tweaks to making the game fun. It's not really innovation that we're looking for. But it's kind of funny like how you know people complain like every year Call of Duty is just doing the same thing over and over again. And it's weird. Because people actually love that and buy Call of Duty every year. The people that are complaining that it's coming out, some of them just really don't know what they're talking about. Are you from these part? My name I like but the And innovation actually doesn't turn into sales. And that's a shame because we you I'm actually interested in buying it, but there are no games for it, so I can't justify buying it, and it's not gonna last for 10 years. You deserve Even though it's peace. cheaper than the other models, Go on I really can't justify myself buying one. I'd hurt the king. I Maybe later on, I do I if more third-party uh, support is available for it, I then maybe I'll Sorry. jump on I board the Nintendo. But right now, Nintendo is... I expected uh, this cathedral to be it's not in a good spot. But there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings on, I'll have to move soon. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking to Lys Lysia. To a place I could gull them. So... Sorry. She's uh, kind of like... By a love track good word. character for Dark Souls 2. No need for She's the, the invader, she wants souls from people, blah blah blah. You know, the evil person that pretends to be good. But there's not a whole lot of story with her. And that's the problem with Dark Souls 2. Like, the quest for each character is is very minimal. 
like you don't really care about their stories you just just want to get through this it's very linear mainstream almost like skyrim like almost i mean this they're still mysterious and more but it's really really little there's very little substance and it's a shame because i really like dark souls i like the lore from the dark souls I think there's a lot more lore in Demon Souls, but I never really hashed it out with the, all the world tendencies, and I just didn't get involved with that. Maybe I should go back and play Demon Souls. And oh shit! Oh shit! There's so many of them there. Dude, the tracking on that jump. Crazy. So here, I uh, the next part that I'm gonna be talking uh, the playthrough is going through the old Dragon Slayer, the Ornstein play playthrough. It's weird how there's Ornstein here, of all places, because I don't think this is actually Anna Londo or you know a representative of Anna Londo at all. I don't think this is place where that should be maybe it is maybe it could be with all the buildings and how, how actually if you look straight ahead it does look like a church with those arcs and those um the, those beams on the on top it does sort of look like that but it's hard to say I'm dead. Here I'm just trying to kill this guy so this thing comes out. As long as that raises the bar, then I'm good. Yeah, it worked. So, it doesn't matter. It didn't matter there. Those red phantoms there are, are I think they're the uh, Sentinels of the Blue. I don't know why they would be phantoms here. It's kind of weird. But oh well. So I've talked about all three consoles for the current gen and why I'm not getting them yet. Basically the reason is there's no games. Buying a system because of its spec, not because of what it can do or software support is not a very good reason you gotta understand you gotta make sure that there are things and people are gonna support not things there's software that supports that system that will provide you with entertainment otherwise you're just buying a box that does certain things that you don't care about so hopefully Bloodborne will be a very good game and won't disappoint me when I get it in 2015 and hopefully by then I'll have like a HD PVR or something set up so I can uh, capture footage from my TV and speaking of TV let's go back to uh, my house I recently purchased a 60 inch TV LG for a pretty good price 1600 it's not bad and I am about to uh, almost be done the renovation so I'm gonna mount it uh, in a week or so so that's gonna be very exciting for me and hopefully at that point I can play some PS3 games that I haven't gotten to so this is going to be the last session of my talk while I go through this boss. It's going to be about games that I have but I have not played. That you might see me play in the future. Not not going to be like a full playthrough like this. But it will be like something just offshoot. 
So games that I haven't played but I have includes Dishonored. A game that came out a couple years ago. It's like a I think it's like a steampunk ish game with you know self elements and some sort of I think it was more like I believe it played like Splinter Cell, but in the old age, in the steampunk era. I don't know. When the first, when the game first announced, it looked really cool, but it turned out to be like not that good, or not as good as it was hyped, which is, I guess, a shame because I don't know. I was looking forward to that game. So. That's Dishonored. The next game I'm going to be uh, not playing, but I have in the back list is um, what do you call it? GTA 4 and GTA 5. I've never finished a GTA a Rockstar game. They're so long, and there's so many side quests that you have to do that I. I just couldn't get get it done. The game that I really that was so close to beating is actually not one of the GTA titles. It was actually a game called Bully. It's about it's like a GTA style game, but in the in the setting of a high school kid, which is kind of cool. I I found that game really cool because you know the humor is not completely adult humor, but at the same time it's funny. It's kind of cool. In that sense, it's very creative, and I really love that game. I'm sure a lot of you guys will already heard of it before. I don't really have to explain that much, but yeah, GTA is the type of game that I need to play in the future, but not right now. One other game that I need to play that I already have, but have not had the chance to get to it is. Ghostbusters, the real the PS3 version. I was in. Uh, I found that game for like ten dollars, like back in the bargain bins a couple months ago, and it's actually quite cool. And I heard the story is good, and all the gameplay is cool. It was, you know, it's a good game. So I will have to go and check that game out. Okay, so what's up on the list? List. Let me go through the list actually. The next on the list is Shadow Warriors. It sort of looks like a Skyrim crossed with like um, Dark Souls type deal, and you just run around and hack and slash. It looks like a pretty fun and crazy game. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna play that game for sure. For sure, I'm gonna get my hands on that and play a little bit of it. Maybe I'll put a video up for that because it looks like a really fun game to watch and a really fun game to just get into. And then, after that game, the next game on the list is the Witcher games. I have all three Witchers, but I've never played them. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're set to be really hard, just like hard, uh, Dark Souls. But I have I have no no idea what to expect from them. I don't like the fact that there's like a set protagonist, and that one one of the uh, like like you can't be someone you know. Holy shit! This spin to win. This guy, man, fuck, that dealt a lot of damage. This Chuck Estes. Yeah, so I don't know what to expect from that game, but I might play a couple hours and see if I like it or not, and go from there. And I think there's a lot more games on the back burner that I need to, you know, get my hands on. But the next game I will definitely be playing 
definitely be playing is Dynasty Warriors. I know a lot of people don't like that game because it's repetitive. Don't worry, I'm not going to show all the gameplay. I'm just going to try to show enough gameplay so it's like I can make a lore out of it. And that's going to be like those videos. Hopefully people will not get bored of it and enjoy it. It's okay. Right now, I have 39 subscribers, which is huge. Coming from, you know, like 10 subscribers when I started out. To 30, 39 is a lot, actually, for me. I never realized that I was going to get anything. But, you know, that's cool. It's cool. It's very cool. So hopefully there will be enough people to watch those videos and spread the word and whatever. You know, these videos I make, even though they're, they're not a lot of people looking at them or, you know, viewing them, it's okay. I don't really care. You know, like it's not for the money. It's not for the fame. It's not for anything. I, I'm just having fun talking and playing the game doing something I love and you know commenting on things that I know about and just you know enjoying my time like at this time of my life everything is pretty hectic and there's a lot of things I need to take care of and, you know, it stresses me out a lot just to deal with um, all the tasks, all the little things I have to worry about. Hopefully, like, it'll settle down once I get married, but I don't know about that. Okay, uh, before I continue talking about that, uh, this is the old Dragon Slayer. For those of you who don't know, this guy looks like... Ornstein from the first game. An old friend. And this guy just two shot at me because I wasn't prepared. I wasted my wither. Uh, withered herbs. Which sucks. That's okay. So back to what I was talking about. Yeah. Oh shit, I got invaded by somebody. Oh, that that's, sucks. That means I have to fucking kill this guy. So yeah, I got invaded by a dragon. Dragon guy. So, yeah, you're going to see some PvP here. Not very good ones, because I'm a mage. Wow, that dealt enough. So back to what I was saying. You know, like stress and all that stuff. It sucks. But being able to do all these videos actually helped me calm myself down and it's actually fun making videos is actually kind of fun you know, just talking to the camera making whatever it's not that bad and if I could make a living out of doing this I don't know if I wanted to because this is a hobby, it's not really a job. If I make this into a job and not have to worry about how many people look at my stuff and how many people will be dictating my content, I think I would get stressed out because, you know, I measure my success, like I said before, with viewers. 
if I make this my job, my living, I have to make sure my success is high. But right now, I don't really have to care. Like, if there's 10 people watching this, that's fine with me. If there's more than 10 people watching this, cool, bonus. So, right now I have the freedom to do that because I have a job. I have a full-time job and I'm thankful for that. But if I have to make this my living, I think that would suck and I would have to have to find a different hobby <laughs> and I don't really want that because gaming is my hobby you know there's times where I fantasize being a game developer but when I think about it closely like no I don't want my hobby to my to be my profession because if it's my profession there's expe expectations from people from my managers or you know my company for me to do good or do certain things I have to get it done perfectly and I don't want that I was able to dodge these two hits sweet so back to what I was saying about this guy this guy's Ornstein one of the four guards of Gwyn so if he's here Chances are Gwyn should be around. And all the four knights should be around. But for some reason, we don't see them. And we only see this guy. Actually, the hawk ring is somewhere. The wolf ring becomes the poise ring. The ring of stone. And then there's a ring. There's no ring that increases. I don't think there's no ring, a ring that increases critical damage, is there? It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to uh, tell if Dark Souls 2 actually links with Dark Souls 1. Just because, you know, there's really hardly any recurring themes. Other than this guy and the Belfry Gargoyles. I don't think there's any anything else that makes it back. So yeah. This is pretty much the game playthrough. I'll continue next time with more riveting topics to talk about. So sorry for the long delay between but hopefully the next part will come sooner so i hope you guys enjoy if you enjoy please spread the word subscribe and you know stay tuned for my other games and my other videos so i'll see you guys next time toodles